Welcome back to our class today. We are going to talk about the um, thyroid storm. Thyroid storm means abnormal thyroid glands functioning. The abnormal production of T4, T3. Now, it's the situation we can call thyrotoxicosis. Thyrotoxicosis, basically T4, T3 level go high and TSS level goes down. Massive production of T4, T3. And we know T4, T3 function as a metabolic functional system. Now, what is metabolism? Metabolism means, you know, the sugar, glucose uh, breaks down into pyruvic acid, pyruvic acid uh, breaks down into acetyl-CoA, make a cycling, eventually they make a um, uh, ATP, they make ATP, it's a cycling system. So um, making energy and catabolizing is like losing lot of energy if abnormal situation. So this situation is like abnormal situation. It's like nor it's not like normal metabolism. Abnormal metabolism. Abnormal metabolism like T4, T3, which is keep on burning and cutting lot of food we eat. No sooner we eat, they keep on bar burns, burning it. They keep on cutting it. So what happens? The patient develop what eating disorder they keep on eating but nothing remain in the body they can also lose weight very massively now t3 t4 goes very high we call it hyperthyroidism so hyperthyroidism like pathophysiology we can say they increase the adrenergic activity sympathetic activity which is b1 b2 b1 b2 receptor activation more and more activation b1 b2 receptor if B1, B1, B2 receptor go um, very hyperactivation, what happens? Goes under trachycardia, heart keeps on pumping over and over. And this kind of situation uh, turns into a stress situation. We know that. So this stress situation, what happens? The patient develops anxiety, neurological problem. They develop some seizure sometimes, develop tremor. This kind of people sometimes very confused. They do not want to believe very realistic object. This kind of people also very hypertensive. Hypertensive heart goes over pumping. That could be the supraventricular arrhythmia. Supraventricular means, of course, uh, we talk about uh, the atrium. Atria, atria is over top on ventricle so that's supraventricular supraventricular arrhythmia means uh, eventually the consequence goes atrial fibrillation we know that and this kind of problem can be happened under um, a sympathetic activity 
this kind of people they feel very intolerance of hitting hit intolerance they have massive fever most of the time and fever should be very high 38.5 up to 41 degree and they they have it they swear a lot they swear a lot they cannot tolerate those heat so sweat goes keep on going up more and more sweating so this kind of problem they have and you know sympathetic activity also from brain to control this uh thyroid gland and the eye eyes goes dilated big eyes because this is the symptom of uh adrenergic situation at the same time we find it also in the grave disease you know grave disease comes from autoimmune disease our thyroid stimulus uh, stimulating immunoglobulin attack on the thyroid gland and shut the pituitary gland not to regulate the thyroid gland and it works itself so massively uh, production of t3 t4 the cause of grave disease we'll talk about grave disease uh, in later on another discussion so they might have it so we have atrial fibrillation tachycardia and it can be eventual consequence also it can be uh, you know uh, cardiac failure uh, which is a uh, final consequence we can see this kind of patient uh, they can have it now what happens to our GI tract we have vomiting we have diarrhea stomach cramping in the GI tract and they can feel also jaundice vomiting diarrhea diarrhea the gi tract gi tract cramping stomach cramping they complain sometimes and in the gi tract this uh, they can have this kind of problem it's all together it's a really it's a mess it's messing neurological problem seizure symptom of seizure tremor and uh, you know uh, like under anxiety and you have more uh, metabolism losing uh, more energy the energy they produce more than they lose they keep on cutting the t3 t4 duty of metabolism so they keep on cutting they, they keep on um, uh, breaking down burning up so they like very loose energy and due to loose energy they are also undergo fatigue and they don't feel good things uh, nothing like very enjoyable to them they sit down sometimes uh, developing anxiety uh, this kind of thing they are feeling so it's like totally different their health condition the normal healthy person now if the over pumping in the heart it can the cause of atrial fibrillation which is degenerative of the uh, ventricular contraction blood can goes sometimes up to the atria if blood goes up to the atria and that cause of pulmonary edema we find it if we do the x-ray we can see some edema pulmonary edema there so there's another problem there and uh this kind of patients go even more high 
the situation can be more severe if they have any surgery while they are suffering from hypothyroidism, sepsis, and they have like, uh, you know, they have diabetes, DKA, that could be more severe in their situation. Children can also have this kind of problem. Children, if a uh, mother uh, transfer uh, the thyroid stimulation, stimulating uh, immunoglobulin uh, to the child, they can also have a attack there and they can also have this kind of grave disease or uh, this kind of uh, hypothyroidism. Yeah, they can have it. Now, whole total is a mess. Whole total is a mess. Now, what should we do? How do we diagnose it? Let's see. No, nothing specific. You can do a chest x-ray. You will find some pulmonary edema. Still, it's not specific. You can go for CBC. In CBC, you will find uh, TSH level went down. T4, T3 went up. You can, you can find leukocytosis, mild left shape. You can find ALT elevation. You can find creatinine elevation. You can find a bilirubin elevation. Uh, yeah. And I told you this kind of uh, patient also can have uh, cardiac heart, um, uh, problem. I mean, uh, ventricul uh, ventricular arrhythmia also. And so we can uh, check the um, EKG or ECG, whatever you say. So that's how you can go for um, diagnosis. And yes, so how do you want to treat them, this kind of patient? As I told you already, sympathetic activity or tachycardia take place. So you want to control that first. How do you control them? beta blocker or propranol propranol lol propranol number 2 you can give them ptu ptu propel propel thio your uh, your uh, cell. You can give them a uh, metamazole, metamazole, antithyroidism uh, drug. Metamazole, me gel. You can give them some corticosteroid. It helps also T4 not to broken down into three. Cortico steroid 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 since uh, this patient uh, is suffering from massive fever you can give them some acetaminophen acetaminophen you can give them some acetaminophen it helps for the reducing fever and if really severe if really severe, like neurological uh, situation, also they got to go for under treatment of seizure or tremor. And we are not talking about that. Also, if you control this kind of problem first, the neurological abnormality also controls automatically.